So I keep seeing these polls on X about, you know, should we ban Muslim prayer? Should we ban Islam? And all this stuff. So it's clear people are angry about it. People aren't happy that Christianity is kind of on the decline. Or well, definitely is on the decline. Islam's taking a massive rise. People people are rightfully angry about this. But their solution is so, is so stupid to just ban something. And I'm noticing it's coming from the exact same crowd as me. The freedom crowd. The freedom crowd's talking about banning religious expression. It, you act in principle though, right? So, you know, you think Islam's a big problem, it's destroying the culture, it's, it's, co it's conquering us, whatever, whatever. Maybe you think it's increasing the crime. You think, you clearly think it's a problem. But then your solution is to completely go against your freedom principle and start trying to ban it and ban religious expression. It doesn't make any sense. I think if you really want to stop something from happening, you have to look at the root cause. Any good leader knows this, but most good, most leaders don't do this because most leaders aren't good leaders. And they simply just try to ban, 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 ban this, ban this, ban that. But instead, you should look for the, the root of the problem. What is the root of the problem of, you know, if you believe Islam's a problem, what is the root of Islam in the West? It's not just that a bunch of white people are turning, are turning into Muslims. No, it's a bunch of immigration. And then the immigrants have a bunch of kids. But then again, it doesn't mean you ban them from having kids. That's because that's not the root of the problem. The root of the problem is the immigration. I'm sure you could go further than that. But you don't have to start having these political campaigns in other countries. You don't, you don't want to get in our country's business. The root of our problem here, we don't have any say in what the Middle Eastern countries are doing with their people. You, sure, you could argue the root problems, mistreatment or whatever, but we, we don't have a say in that. We can't change their country. This is our country. The root of our problem is the mass immigration. You don't ban religious expression. You stop illegal immigration. Because most of it's happening via illegal immigration. Because you have to cut the head off the snake. And that's, that's the whole thing. Otherwise, it's gonna, the issue will actually get even worse. Can you imagine ignoring, ignoring mass immigration? Sitting there, j just ignoring the root cause. And they're trying to enforce the law. Yeah, guys, we're going to ban Islam. They're going to keep growing and growing and growing. And you're not going to be able to enforce this law. Because can you imagine the country turns to 30% Muslim and we're here trying to enforce the Islam ban, the Muslim ban? No, it's impossible. It's literally impossible. And once they become such a large pop, once it, once it becomes such a large percentage of the population, their voting power will be immense. I mean, we've seen the way they vote. Like, they all come together and vote, like, in lockstep, all for the exact same party, whatever Muslim party you want to vote for. Every single one of them vote for it. Like... You'll have this one area. Not one Muslim will vote Labour or Conservative, but every single one of them will vote for the party they've agreed on voting for. And they have this cultist, and not, I'm not even saying it in a bad way, they have this cultist like way of voting. Their power will be immense for the voters. Once they become 30% of the population, and we're trying to vote for the party that wants the Muslim ban, which is ridiculous, it's not going to happen. They're not getting it. Because they're like 10% of the country now. Or they're going to be. So there's, there's absolutely no way. You, you can't do it. Because can you imagine letting this thing happen? 20% of the entire population is uh, Muslim. And then they get their party in charge that is then in their favour. So you've, you've continued to ignore the problem for so long. They're now a large, popu large percentage of the population. And now their party gets in charge. At that point, it is way too late. It's too late. You have to stop the problem before it happens. Get to the root cause. Bang, it doesn't solve the problem. It just hides it a little bit, not even for that long either. And then if you're sitting there saying, no, but I want mass deportations at the same time, I want I want to ban Islam and have mass deportations. Well, if you're having mass deportations and they only end up making up 0.5% of the population, what's the, what's the point of banning them? Because they're never going to become a problem if they're only 0.5% of the population. So you don't have to worry about banning them. It, it makes zero sense. You know, what happened to freedom? Like, so you think you have to infringe someone's freedom to have the country be safe and lower the crime rates? We have to stop religious expression to keep people safe. It just sounds like exactly what they do with the, with the COVID lockdowns. You know, we have to restrict everyone's this. Don't leave your home for, for your safety and all this stuff. We don't have to infringe people's rights and freedoms for safety. They always want they always want you to think, the elite want you to think that there's all you always have to sell something away. You have to trade one off for the other. You can either have freedom or safety, freedom or convenience. You can actually have both. But they don't, want you to, you, they don't want you to know that. They always want you to trade one for the other. They either want you to be unsafe or enslaved. And both, are, both are very similar. Both are essentially enslavement. 
And that's their, that's their goal, control. And it's like, even just with immigration, they're sitting there going, oh, this problem, we need digital ID, guys. You know, we need, for your safety, because there's, because immigration is this massive problem, you believe so, um, and it's increasing the crime, we now need digital ID to see who's in the country and who's not, who's legal, who's not. And that's the whole, maybe that's the reason they're pushing the immigration. Because they want digital ID. But no, you can get to the root cause, mass immigration, start the deportations, and then... Guess what happens? You don't need digital ID. You don't need to sell away your freedoms. You can have everything. And you can have a small percent of the population that want to, you know, be part of their religion and have their religious expression. They're good serving people. You know, they serve the country and we serve them. And we, are, we can all be in peace and harmony. It's possible. They don't want you to think this can happen, but it can. You know, you're rightfully angry at this problem. I understand. I relatively, it annoys me as well. But by banning it is going to make the problem 10 times worse. You're going to embrace martyrdom. We've seen it. Banning them is only going to make them stronger. You know, it, that's that's not going to be a good thing. You, you don't want to ban it. That's all I'm saying. And I think the true way to get rid of the problem, because I'm saying the problem is mass immigration, but it wouldn't happen without traitorous leaders. We need less traitorous leaders. We need to get these people out of power. They're deliberately allowing mass immigration to happen so that's really where the first step is because they're choosing to allow the problem to happen so if we keep letting them run the country then the problem's going to keep happening keep happening keep happening until it's too late so we need to force these traitors out long live freedom